Alrighty, hey, how's it going everyone? It's Big Man today. Today I'm coming back with another Teppin video. Just letting you guys know that it's a new year and I'm gonna be pushing out more content on my YouTube channel. The games I've been mostly playing is about Teppin and Call of Duty. So I'm gonna be capturing and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna wanna do it. Otherwise, um, for people who've been watching my channel and sticking around, appreciate you guys a lot, believe me. Uh, I've just been struggling to make videos and stuff just with the whole Force Arena dying out. So other than that, getting into Teppin, I have a new deck and also real quick, we got a campaign for friends. In case you guys don't know, you got to have 10 or more friends by uh, January 9th and you'll receive two free packs of four seekers that's coming out. So down here is going to be my ID. Hit me up. I'll be your friend. If you guys want to use this video, put your IDs down there at the comment section down below. Um, you guys get two free packs. Just have ten friends. I've already have one pending here. This guy's an E5. Oh, sure, I'll accept you, dude. Like, it, just have ten friends. You have 50 spaces. Like, let's let's get this. Um, I'll probably remove some of these guys later, though. But you need to get at least ten friends. I'm currently what is it? Was it a six? So just a friendly reminder. Get those IDs. You can go on the Reddit page. It's the first thing on there for friendship campaign. So real quick just wanted to get into this deck that I've been playing around with it's fun um, I've been using a different version um, for the attorney for the New Year Cup this is the one that just I have because I do not have the legendary uh, Lilith it's generally based off of growth and temptation temptation in case I don't know it holds the enemies but when the combination I'm doing is uh, Ada and Mega Shock dealing six damage pretty much giving me a full board clear it's incredibly strong uh, combo I guess you could call it because what ends up happening is is uh, you have hard removal with dog grow grow growth and Q fawn roots uh, dealing two damage on top of it you have the flight mechanics uh, being the Kecha Wacha which has flight and then halts which also gives you an opportunity to proc this and with the Arcanus Arcanus also holds targets can be uh, also proc with Ada but at the same time, it does two free damage and resets. Pyrobat being, I think, my last flight unit, which is really good. The 4-2, very strong, aggressive unit, which there's so much halt in this deck that it allows itself to do four damage a lot and forcing your opponent to answer it, but in a slow fashion. So that's pretty much the cheap growth. Using uh, two only Elder Grayon Knight, because you have, after two growths, Pretty much six more energy being played out throughout the time. Becomes Voltic Black Knight. Deals Pierce damage. Really good card. Really uh, strong if you can get there. Has good stats overall. Um, to round it out the deck. The Hell and An Anator. Anortora? Who gives a crap? This guy's ridiculous. One hit equals four damage to the target. And then another target. Another random target. So, um... I think this is mandatory in every purple deck, just straight up. Um, Hunk, since you got so many bodies and not enough spells, Hunk just he's won me games. I've gotten I've gotten like a stack of like level seven, a seven seven Hunk with fucking like five shields. It's really cool. Um, Outriders, I think it's in growth decks. This is a really strong card because eventually, once you get up to five growths, you can bounce back any card. You want to prioritize cards that have four or more energy. Four is just an equal trade, but if it's five, six, seven, eight, and you bounce those side cards back, it sets your opponent behind a lot. Um, other than that, if your opponent's trying to remove any of your cards, word, words of self-control bounces a, any of your purples and then bounces a six drop back. So you can save a card and force them to return a card. But of course, you gotta be careful because like Ryu has replayability. Um, this is the last card and it's a swing card. I put Tigrex, but you can also change this into Mind Control or Brainwash, the legendary. The only reason why I took it out is because uh, there's too many counters I kept facing when I played against black and then green ends up sealing, which uh, this deck kind of struggles with green because they have so many action cards and I don't have any action cards to counter with so uh, that's the only thing about this deck maybe later on this deck will change up i enjoy it and tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below um i'm gonna play one match 
That's about it. Skin this baby. Okay. So I usually do have trouble with the green matchup. It just depends how I can tempo swing them. Can I get more value than them or can I not? But traditionally opening hand, starting with the growth, is pretty good. I'm going to start with this because you don't know what's going to happen. If he plays Diablo, I got to answer it. And what the cool thing is, is you can do these two cards in combination. Because in the first growth, he activates Halt on a target. And then the second you play her, deals that six damage immediately. So I think that's what you really got to look after. Um, but for now, energy stack. So like he plays this. Bam. Just did six damage. So... I think it's pretty neat. Ooh. Hmm. I'm actually gonna bounce this back. I'm gonna bounce this back, actually. I don't wanna see this guy. Cause it's already up to level two. He becomes, once he hits level three, he becomes kind of nuts. This guy has to die anyway, technically. Okay, it's a free hit. So I'm going to trade it out. I will play this. And so what's going to end up happening here is level up. It's a free level up here. I'm going to play the bat. So then, once again, since it's low life, that's another level up. I'm five. I got a big ass boy. Doesn't even matter at this point. I already got my value. Play this guy. The pierce damage from the Volcanic Black Knight did uh, killed the unit, did five pierce damage to another lane. He's using all of his seals. And he's taking five damage because he'd rather stop that. Which I don't think it's a wise decision, but it's a decision he decides to make. And he lets the trade happen. So, I'm going to end this with Tigrex. This is going to be clean sweep, but you see the potential here, right? The growth is you're supposed to just stack and stack and stack. He's definitely trying to clear something here. Cool. I'm gonna hold it. Cool thing about Tigrex, it's gonna put two to three tacks before the hold is over. And it's gonna be a wrap on this match. Um, I would show another match off, but I don't really want this video to be too long. It's already about eight minutes in. But just to show you core concept, that's kind of what you want to do with this deck. You want to play cards, you want to grow, and since the purple lineup for growth has so many status effects and so much like little damage here, little damage there, you get your value. You get your good core value in, and when you're in trouble and you need to build energy, use your uh, art, temptation, freeze them, lock them down, build that energy, combo out your growth cards, and you just regain a bunch of status effects or you can clear them out using ada or the mega shock so you got options uh tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below uh to you guys for watching and subscribe if you don't want more content for teppin i'm gonna be doing it anyway four seekers out in two days remember uh hit the friendships and uh yeah definitely i'll probably make a video for car pack opening because you know <laughs> your boy loves some open and some packs so um other than that, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next.